Hello everyone and welcome back. So Forager Cycles reached out to me a couple of months ago and they were like, hey Hannah, we have these cable cherries and we think they'd be great for your content. Would you like us to send you some? And I was like, hell yeah, send them my way. I'll figure out a way to make them work. I've been in grad school a really long time and I have trouble saying no to free things. So I got them in the mail and they come in a box like this, these little boxes, they sent me two of these. And I open it up and I'm like, what is this thing? <laughs> like, oh my God, I have no idea what this is for. What have I gotten myself into? I promised these people some content and I like, I have no idea what this is. It can't be that hard, right? It can't be that hard and look, don't get me wrong, I have seen these things around before. Pathless Pedaled had it in his uh, Favorite Gear of the Year award last year. These things pop up on my Instagram all the time. I've just never really paid attention to them. I was like, oh, like, I don't know, like whatever. Just like scroll, 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 you know. Well, it turns out that these are actually really useful if you want to extend the life of the cables on your bicycle, which is great in this day and age of extreme shortages. We need all the help we can get. So full disclosure, nobody paid me to do this. Forager Cycles literally just sent me two of their cable cherry thingies and I was gonna just feature it in a video, but since I really didn't know what they were, I couldn't find anything on how to install them or like exactly what the details were. I decided to make my own content about it. Also, if you have made it to this point in the video, you should go ahead and subscribe to this channel and help me get to 10,000 followers this year. I mean like, 15k right now or something like that i'm almost there <laughs> i'm really close i'm really close to you guys <laughs> forager cycles is a small bike parts manufacturer out on the west coast they make cable cherries and other small components for the bike they also make this really cool handlebar called the oyster bar it looks really cool like one of those bmx style handlebars that you guys know that i like very beautiful very beautiful indeed so Really cool company, really cool small company doing interesting things. Uh, but to get to the point of the video, what the hell is a cable cherry? To be brief, cable cherries replace that little crimped piece of metal at the end of your brake and shifter cables. It prevents fraying of the cable and it allows you to reuse the cable if you need to. According to their website, this makes them serviceable when you are out and about, and it makes it easy to make tension adjustments on your cables. I will fully admit though, I've never had to do that out in the wilderness and God forbid I ever have to do that. To install them, I called up my friends at Loose Nut Cycles, which is a local bike shop here in Atlanta, and it's where I get most of my work done on my bikes. I spoke to my friend Leahy and I was like, Leahy, can you please show me how to do this? I, I have no idea what this is. Can you just show me how to install it on my bike? And he was like, oh yeah, I got you. Like, come on, come on, come on in and I'll show you how to do it. And I was like, Thank you so much. You know when something goes wrong on your bike and you spend hours agonizing over how to fix it and then you bring it to the bike shop and they do it in 30 seconds? This was kind of like that. It did not take any time at all. The only extra tool that you actually need is a pair of cable cutters or pliers. In the box, there are two cable cherries held together by a small piece of cable. Also in the box is a one millimeter hex wrench, which Leahy told me is really nice because most hex wrench sets do not come with a one millimeter wrench. So that's really nice. So if you're replacing the crimp on the end or if your cable is already frayed, just snip that off with the cable cutters. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just gotta trim this off. Okay. Uh, like, try to get as clean of a cut as you can, because okay. it's fraying, like it kind of okay. twisted. It's gonna be hard to slide this on. And to install the cable cherry, you just loosen the nut with the hex wrench that they provide to you. I wanna make sure like that's backed out enough. Yeah, okay. But like, that's good. Cool. And then you just fit it on to your bike cable, and then you tighten it up. And voila, that's it. That's literally it. I 
thought that this was going to be really complicated. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I thought this was going to be really hard, but it wasn't at all. Um, so I hope I'm not embarrassing myself by making this video, which I very much might be. You can use them on your shifter cables or on your brakes if you have rim brakes or cable actuated brakes. I don't think that they work on hydraulic brakes. Uh, check me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that that's not how hydraulic brakes work, but hydraulic brakes are also a mystery to me. So, and that's it. That's literally the video. That is what a cable cherry is. I hope that I've explained it adequately enough. I hope this is useful to someone out there who finds cable cherries out there on the internet and is like, what the hell is it? What on earth is a cable cherry? And then finds this video. I hope this was, hope it's the first one that comes up in Google for you guys. If you have more in-depth questions about it, I don't think that I can answer them, but you can check out Forager Cycles website, which is linked in the description below. So thank you Forager Cycles for sending me some cable cherries. They're awesome. I'm gonna put them on all of my bikes now and I'm gonna recommend them to a lot of people. They're nifty little pieces of metal. It's like really nice. And thank you Leahy and Loose Nut Cycles for letting me come in and film you installing the cable cherry onto my Crestman Bora. I appreciate you guys so much and for all the work that you do. Um, also side note, Leahy makes awesome YouTube videos and if you wanna check them out, I'll link to his channel in the description below. So if you like this video and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe, like, comment. If there's any kind of gear or something that you guys want me to review or check out in a video on this channel, let me know in the comments below. And that's a wrap. I will see you guys next week.